All right, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, and His only begotten Son's true name being Yahweh Shai, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. I also want to give a shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing teachings truth worldwide, and shalom to all, you since, all, to all you sincere listeners and you sincere believers. All right. Thoughts to come with a lesson concerning that our righteous forefathers desired to see the things that we're seeing within these last days. All right. In these last days, man. Okay. Such as the prophecies prophecies of the Holy Scriptures. The prophecies of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai that are preordained and predestined to be fulfilled. Prophecies such as World War Three, prophecies such as martial law, that great tribulation that that uh that, that Daniel spoken about, that great tribulation of Jacob's trouble that Jeremiah prophesied about. All right. The uh, the uh the the uh the agenda and the plan, all right, the, the gradualism of the implementation. Of the tiny technology to be implanted into human bodies is as known as the MOTB in the Revelation chapter 13. All right, as as John on the island of Patmos uh foreseen, man. Within hit within the uh visions. Okay. Hey, right our righteous forefathers desire to see the things that we're seeing right now. All right. So it's 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 really a, a blessing, okay? Then we're seeing the signs of the of the end times, all right. These prophecies that we're that we you know the rumors of wars are taking place. The, the, the fires being kindled concerning the great tribulation, the great uh, chaos that is to be that is to take place worldwide. All right. The fire is kindled concerning World War Three. The fire is kindled with with, uh, with uh, the signs of the of the uh, chariot sightings with the world, you know, incorrectly caused UFOs. All right. We're seeing the signs of these things and, we're, and these things are about to be fulfilled. All right. Not only do we see the signs, but we feel it. All right. We feel it through the spirit, man, because we're a spiritual man. We discern the times. We know when it, we know just as one when you look upon the sky, you know when it's about to rain. All right. You know, when, you know, when something coming. when you see those clouds cloud in the sky, you know, it's about to go down. All right. You see it's blocking the sunlight. You know, a, a storm is about to come through the same way we see it concerning these prophecies. All right. And, and our and our righteous, the, 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 the men that we that the men that we quote week in and week out, our four, five, our, our uh, just major in mind, the major really. Hey, these are all major men, you know, Ezekiel. All right, Joel. All right, these we we're about to we're about to foresee, or we're about to uh, firsthand witness all these prophecies, and that's a blessing. All right, that's a blessing because you must first believe before you can actually witness it. All right, because these people are about to see these things uh, come to pass as well, but they're not going to know what the hell is going on. They're not going to know the meaning unless the Lord reveal it unto them through the men of the Lord. All right, of course. All right, but these people are going to be confounded, man. All right, they're going to be confused. They're going to be lost. All right, lost in the sauce. All right, but this is Matthew chapter thirteen, and the more the uh, the inspiration came through a verse um, later on down within uh, these verses. But I want to uh, you know start up just to bring forth the context. This is uh, Matthew chapter thirteen, verse nine, and this is Yahweh Shah speaking to his disciples. It reads, "Who have ears to hear, let him hear." Yeah, the spiritual, the spiritual eyes to see and the spiritual ears to understand. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these holy scriptures. Verse 10, it reads, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto, unto them in parables? Yeah, disciples are followers of Yahweh Shai. So we're disciples in our lifetimes, man, because we're followers of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? It says, verse 11, and, you know, they, they ask the question, you know, why speakest them into, you know, hard sayings, man? You know, saying it in, in certain ways, all right, which is still simple for those that can understand. All right, but it was it, these scriptures are written in, in the uh, you know the allegories, the the metaphors, the dark sayings. All right, it's not it's not written in a way where everyone's is uh able to receive it through the spirit. Okay, one example being uh the phrase or the term Babylon the Great. That's not that's not a that's a heavy that's a heavy uh spiritual topic, man. Babylon the Great truly being America. All right, and the scriptures to back that up, man. Okay. But this is Matthew chapter 13, verse 11. That's just wanted to bring out one, you know, one, 
dark sand. You know, that's not even, I mean, not a dark sand, but uh, a heavy, a heavy topic. All right. That just, and it's not, it's not so simple. All right. But Matthew chapter 13, verse 11, and it reads, he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it is not given. Yeah, this truth, this knowledge, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Bible, all right, through the Holy Spirit, is only given to the to the elect, all right, to the to the to the Lord, to those of, that the Lord seen fit and worthy to receive the entirety of the doctrine, the entirety of the uh of the body of teachings, okay. But to everyone, it is it is not given. Is it that's just that's just that's just plainly put, man. Many are called, but few are chosen. So continuing on with verse 12. But for whosoever have to him shall, shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not for him shall be taken away, even that he have. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not. And they hear and they hear not. Neither do they understand. Verse 14. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and, under, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. And that's what's going to be taking place when these prophecies continue to get, uh, to increase. All right? Because, uh, you know, other prophecies, uh, the famine, people dying, a uh, million, uh, great, great amounts dying of starvation. Pestilence, people, uh, great amounts dying of sicknesses and diseases. All right? The war, you know, World War Three being destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. All right, these are these were hey, these are great things that we're about to witness. All right, and it has us pumped up in the spirit because we understand we, that uh, that the Lord that we're going to be on the beneficial side of this thing. Lord willing, Lord willing, man. Okay, be doing to be due to being uh being delivered by the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh the angels, man. All right, on those chariots and then watching the end of the nation overpass, watching that destruction and watching things get. Get totally destroyed, man, by the heavenly Father, due to the wickedness, due to the evil, due to the you know the arrogance of the of this world, you know, due to them just not abiding in the laws and just commandments of the holy scriptures. All right, even though it's not for the entire, for all the nations, they're just going to get it for the wickedness. But concerning our people that are scattered worldwide, being you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, judgment is is coming. All right, because before before the uh before the continued disobedience, because all our righteousness is as filthy rags, because we because we've been disobedient uh to the to the Most High, but for those that repented, a hey, a blessing is is for that action, man. All right, through faith, okay. But this is Matthew chapter thirteen, verse fifteen. For this people's heart, this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see where they. With their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart, yeah, their mind, their inner spirit, their law. It says, and should be converted, and I shall heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Yeah, this is the blessing for those that sincerely believe in the times we're living in right now, man. All right? It's a blessing. All right? Because these people can, you know, be up, be on the up and up in life, but these things are going to be taken away in just a sudden moment. As is mentioned in First Thessalonians chapter five or three, you know that they think they, they think themselves to be in a good case, but sudden destruction comes upon them, man. And these and these prophecies are going to suddenly destroy these peoples, man. First, it's going to destroy their spirit, then destroy them physically. All right, the the economy is going to collapse, inflation and prices are going to increase, the livelihood of the, of the world is only going to get worse. All right, it's only going to be it's only going to become tougher and harder. All right. The 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 uh so called white man Esau Edom according to the Bible his true identity his true nationality all right it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna crack down and become and become very harsh he's gonna speak as a dragon as the scriptures speak about them dracon them draconian measures man all right it's gonna be very harsh and cruel all right it's gonna come down harder to the masses of the people all right that fire is kindled as well. And it's uh, Matthew chapter 13, verse 17. This is truly the point. It says, For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. And we understand, of course, also according to the scriptures that, you know, the, the prophets are subject to the prophets, and so they're going to fall back into their lots in these times. So, yeah, these men, you know. You know, uh, you know, reincarnations it is in the Bible. All right, these these spirits are back today. 
All right. <laughs> but they you know while they was prophesying in their time, you know, Daniel, Jeremiah, all right, Ezekiel, okay, Isaiah, they didn't get to see some of the prophecies that they that they prophesied about, that they received the visions about. All right. But we get to see it in our lifetime, man, which is a blessing. It says, I'm going to read that Matthew chapter 13, verse 17. But verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. All right. So we, but we get to see it, man. We get to see the, the, uh, the steps toward World War III. We get to see all the, uh. You know, we get to see the buildups of all these prophecies, man. We see that we see that it's going to hit their climax. All right. We're seeing all this, which gives us faith boosters, man. All right. And I also want to give um, I want to get one account, of course, a classic account in Acts chapter one that that the that the disciples and the apostles, you know, you know, desire to see they desire to see. Yahweh shall return. They desire to see the kingdom of heaven being established, which we're about to see, man. We're about to see these things. Lord willing. All right. This is Acts chapter one. I'm going to start it because uh, the point's further down. But Acts chapter one, start at verse two. All right. And it reads, until the day in which he was taken up. And this is after Yahweh shall was resurrected and was speaking to the disciples. All right. It says, until the, until the day in which he was taken up, after that... It, after that, he threw the Holy Spirit had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion and by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of the most high and being assembled together with them and commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the father, which which saith, ye have heard of me. And the scriptures speak of that uh speak these same things in our time, man. He's uh is mentioned in Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. Wait, wait ye upon me that I rise up to the prey. All right, that he that he put for his righteous indignation, his righteous anger towards the nations, man. So we're not going to do these things. The, the Lord's going to return and with with the Lord of hosts, with the Lord of armies, all right, son of his angels, all right. And he's gonna he's gonna fight the battle for us, man. We just gotta have the faith, and he's gonna give us the power too. Through spiritual powers, but we just have to have the faith to endure it all. You know, this is Acts chapter one, verse five. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. All right, and that's exactly what we've been baptized by, man. We've been anointed through the Holy Spirit, okay, to receive this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be given this uh, gift of faith. All right, but this is Acts chapter one, verse six. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord. Without at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel. See the you see the disciples and the apostles, they desired, man. They 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 hastened in the day. All right. They were hopeful of the of these end time prophecies to come to pass. Such as how was I restoring that, that inheritance and that and that uh that power back to the to the nation of Israel. All right. For you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans, you make up the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. You are God's chosen people. The repentance is for you. Deliverance is for you. The kingdom of heaven is for you only. All right. Simple as that. All those things. Verse seven. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father have in his own power, but ye shall receive. See, it's not for us to know exactly the detailed date and, and year that Yahweh is going to crack those clouds. That World War Three exactly is going to start. We got to just watch for the signs of all these prophecies, man. All right. But verse 8, it says, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is coming to you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea, Judea and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Verse 9, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. All right, and that cloud symbolizing a, a chariot, what the world would call a UFO. An un unidentified fine object. No, that's a chariot of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Those are those truly are. All right. And that's what Yahweh Shai went up in after speaking with the disciples. Verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. That white apparel is symbolizing that purity of the angels, man. Okay. And they were gazing. They, you know, they shot like, what the, you know, he, he, you know Yahweh Shai is leaving them, man. 
All right, but what, what? Verse 11, it reads, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which the world incorrectly calls Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So the same way we seen that the apostles and disciples seen Yahweh Shai go up into the clouds. All right. That's the same way. That's how we know he's going to crack those clouds, man. He's going to concern the, the huge chariot that he's going to that he's going to return on, man, with that great glory and that great power. All right, the same way the disciples seen him go up, the same way we're going to see him return in these last days. All right, we're about to see these things, man, which the which the uh, <laughs> righteous men the desire to see. Let me back that point up as well concerning Acts chapter 1 with Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter, I'm going to get straight to the point on this one. This is Hebrews chapter 11 verse 13, all right? And the previous verses touch on... Uh, you know, the, the faithful accounts of the righteous men, you know, start uh not starting with, but going forth with uh, uh with Enoch being translated by his faith. All right. Noah building the ark through his faith. OK, because, you know, the, 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 the scarvers in Noah's time, they didn't think the flood was going to come. But Noah believed and he did as the Lord commanded him to do. He built that ark. OK. And it was delivered. All right. But it was delivered through the flood. OK. It was able to repopulate the earth. Abraham sojourned and traveled through the land by faith that was that he didn't that he wasn't aware of or it was unknown to him. Okay. Sarah, uh another another account, if I'm not mistaken, Sarah was mentioned. Yep, in verse eleven. She was able to receive uh receive a child at her old age, man, with through through her faith. Okay. Cause you would be shocked in today's time to see a what, seventy, not uh a seventy or eighty year old woman receive a uh receive a, or conceive a, a seed you know that but through faith it would it, it, it happened okay not saying that was her exact age i'm just giving out an example all right but this is hebrews chapter 11 verse 13 it reads these all died in faith not having received the promises see they weren't able to receive the the things how about shimia shot promised all right for things to come they you know these things were to happen later all right, happened in our lifetime that that are that these these signs are happening now, okay? But having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth, yeah. So they 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 still believe even though these things were afar, they still prophesied, man, okay? Prophesied these things, make it, but they desire to see it. All right, as the scripture said in Matthew chapter thirteen verse seventeen, these righteous men desire to see the things which we see. All right. And these and these prophecies comfort us. They, 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 these are faith boosters. You know, this show these prophecies show us that the Lord is tr the Lord is real. All right, He exists as Yahweh Yahweh uh, means. Man, He exists. All right, that's exactly what these prophecies show. All right, and that this book is true. All right. So let me also grab uh, or lastly grab John chapter twenty concerning faith. All right, this is John chapter twenty verse uh, twenty nine. Okay, and it reads. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thomas, all right, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Yeah, and Thomas is still righteous, but then this, you know, just in this uh <laughs> example, all right, you know, he didn't believe unless he had seen Yahweh Shai. It says, Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. So it's a blessing. We're going to be rewarded for our faith and doing the will of the Heavenly Father without without him truly being in our presence. That's faith. You know we're gonna we're gonna be rewarded by that through what the scriptures say. We're we're promised, man, by what through deliverance, through spiritual power, through through uh, re remaining in the Holy Spirit. Okay, these things are gonna happen for the for the men of the Lord, hey, for the for the for the elect. Okay, men, women, and children. Okay, continuing on verse thirty and many other signs truly did Yahweh Shai, truly did Yahweh Shai in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. So we, hey, that's going to be, that's comforting as well because the Lord mentioned in John chapter 14, verse 12, that we shall do greater works that though, for, for those that believe, believe it on Yahweh Shai, all right? And everything that he did is not even written in the book, as it just said here. Verse 31, but these are written that ye might believe that Yahweh Shai is the Hamashiach, is the anointed, all right? The son of God, 
and that believing ye might have life through his name. Yeah, through the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, we were able to, hey, we have a great opportunity, a great chance, all right, to be delivered through be, to be delivered through Yahweh Bashem Yahushua and by Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, all right, through all the difficult and these uh these going going to be uh what these uh, perils, these dangerous, these dangerous situations that's about to come about. All right, and times are already dangerous that, that we're living in now. All right, but just these times are about to get worse. They're about to increase. All right, but we're about to. It's still, still going to be balanced. All right, but we, we desire to see these times, man. We desire to see what these these times that the scriptures uh for spoken about. You know, and that's going to be a blessing to to understand what's going on while it's going on. All right, and that's what the world is not given. You know, everyone's not given the opportunity. All right, so you know, Lord willing. You know, this lesson was edifying and also encouraging to you sincere believers. I want to end off by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, or Chakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, Shalom.